Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Really Ghost Thief 2. I apologize for the big delay between kidnap and this mission. After I got kidnap recorded, which, you know, was bad enough, but took only a few hours, I had a hell of a time getting my video editor to process the videos right and get them uploaded to YouTube, but it's all finally said and done, so we're ready to move on to casing the joint. Pull up the save from the end of Kidnap, and like I said, after Kidnap is done, the rest of the game is a cakewalk for a ghoster compared to Kidnap and Cavador. So, as usual, the briefing is separately on the playlist, so let's take a look at our objectives. Find out where the secret stairway is and how to access it. Open the door to it to make sure. If you get a chance to find out what kind of correspondence the mechanists have been sending Gervasius, it would save you having to do it on your return trip. Gervasius' penchant for secret passages is sure to come in handy if you can just find them. Find at least seven secrets. You don't have much information on the interior of the mansion yet. Map out at least half of the mansion. Make a clean getaway to the streets in front of the house. If anyone knows you were here, casing the joint won't be worth much. Don't get into any confrontations with the locals. It's possible to ghost this mission and it's possible to perfect thief it, but we cannot supreme ghost it. There are... A few variables which could lead to forced busts, because I think the configuration is somewhat random, but I do know that at the very end, getting out to the streets will require us to, at minimum, nudge a guard, which will be a supreme bust. But anyway, let's get started. As always, we'll skip making any purchases, because they're for amateurs. And let's get rolling. If we peek at our map, you'll notice that we really don't know much about the mansion. Here we're in the... we have arrived in the pool in the garden. Over here there's a courtyard. Over to the east, the mansion faces the street. And that's it. The first, second, and third floor interiors are all completely blank. We get to map them out. But, before we do that, peek at the bottom of the pool. You should be able to find three pairs of coins. If I can just track them down. There they are. 20 each. They bring our loot total to 60. This is another low ambient light mission, but you should be able to see there's sort of a lean-to against the mansion proper with some crates next to it. Just mantle up on top of that lean-to. Assuming Garrett feels like mantling sometime today. Which, you know, to be fair, is always a tall order. And then, once you are on top of it, stand up and look up against the wall to find this little switch, which is our first of nine secrets. But before we do that, there are a couple of things to do outside. First, it's important to note that we'll fail the mission if we get spotted. So... That's what it means by avoid any confrontations with the locals. So, Who's over there? I know we can do that without the first alert. We just wait for him to turn. What's that? And if he'll stay turned just a little bit longer. Hmm. Saw something there. No, you didn't. Who's there? So he just pivots back and forth. No big deal. Zip in and get his purse when you have a chance. It brings our loot total to 160 and mm. I actually right forgot there. how many pickpockets there are, so let's fail on purpose just to find out the total. Nine. Nine total pickpockets. And nine secrets as well? Yep, nine and nine. Okay, good. Back to work. Uh, very similarly to what we buddy better be oops what we just experienced there's a uh, another guard up here at the other end of the mansion <clears throat> but we may just have to take the supreme bus to get his maybe we can slip in behind this guy as he makes his turns oh good 
Opening any of these doors triggers a first alert and busts Supreme Ghost, which we don't obviously don't want to do if we don't have to. Of course, there's no way up onto this balcony except to open the door behind the guard, so that right there, because I always go for all the loot, I'm just too much of a klepto not to, will be a Supreme Bust, because he will first alert. This guy's loot is easier to steal because he's standing right in the shadows like a boss. That's our second of nine pickpockets. Another hundred brings our loot total to 260. Now I'll just need to sneak back behind this door guard and head in through the secret we found. Jordan. That and of course I need to be more careful. Don't go until he's turned. Mm -hmm. Drop in behind him. Mm, didn't oh. Accidentally stepped on the stone. something there. Dang it. Wasn't quite fast enough. I've been working way ahead while the uh, kidnap video, while my computer was wrestling with the kidnap videos. been trying to solve a very stubborn problem a little ways into Thief 3. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now, since I've already done practice runs for all this. But, it's time to refocus. Of course, I guess you could say that the first playlists I made were practice runs for all this too, but you'd be amazed how much you can forget, even after you make a video. So once you get up into this little booth, I choose to reclose the secret. We won't be exiting that way anyway, because that doesn't count as getting out to the streets. That's only, uh, believe it or not, that only counts as, you know, Gervasius's backyard. So here inside the chapel, you see there the little booth we came in through. We want to nab the two coins off the altar, 20 each, bring our total to 300. No one can hear us in here, so we'll also head over to the window, nab those coins to bring our total to 320. Now let me get my bearings right quick. Right, we can't. Obviously we can't go out that door. So let me get this other booth on the map. Just to move towards the map everything out objective. The good news, of course, well, this isn't good news. They recycle this map. We're back on the exact same map for the next mission, Masks. But what is good news is that because we have ghosting forced upon us in this mission, literally we can't be seen or heard, or we fail, it, they made it very easy to sneak through. So this sitting room doesn't have a name. There are two pairs of coins on the table, still 20 each. They bring our total to 360. Oh, here comes somebody. And he's got a purse. Good. There are a lot of purses that just wander around the whole mansion. What was that noise? It's much like there were in Kidnap. So, if you find them, take the opportunity to grab them. So I apologize once again for the darkness here. Hell, I can't even find the table. There we go. Two coins bring our total to 360. Over here, there's another co pair of coins, which bring our total up to 380. I'm gonna wait for that guard. Although, because he's randomized, he may choose to pass us by this time. Sounds like he did. 
So maybe we can pop out and grab that purse. Bam. Beautiful. That's another 100 gold. It's the third of nine pickpockets. Brings our total to 480. I'm going to go ahead and do a real save. I'm going to do it every time I find purses. I'm just entering these rooms to help towards the mapping objective. There's nothing inside them. We find out in masks that these are actually the priest's quarters. Makes sense with all the chapel business we just snuck through. So, what to do next? We can't really get to here. Well, I guess we can. There's not really a point, though. I don't want to deactivate the watcher, and I don't want to fiddle with getting past it when I don't have to. Next, I'm just going to sneak across the hall. Ah, storage. I'm sure Gervasius has lots of things down here that he'll never miss. At least not until it's too late. So for the storage room, I think the only interesting box is the one on the far right. It's got a candlestick in it, brings our total to 530. If we bounce upstairs right quick, I can't remember which one of these has goodies in it. But let's just find out. That one's broadhead arrows, which I have no interest in. This one, there we go, there's another candlestick. Oddly enough, we're, well, worth another 50 brings our total to 580. So, with that done, we move on. Well, should I tackle the second floor yet? Nah, I'll do the first floor first. Close that door behind me. As long as no one's in this hallway, you don't have to worry about making noise. Once the door opens, of course, it's a different story. Be careful with the watcher there. Let's move into here. This room is marked office. That's helpful. So, inside this room, we have one coin on one of these. Find it. Yes, this one. There's a pair of coins worth 20, brings our total to 600. And if we hit that switch, we get our second of nine secrets, which opens this handy passage into the next room. Let's us skip the watcher in the hallway. We have arrived in the workshop. First, to close the passage, there's a matching switch above the couch in here. Second, on this table, there are two more coins. I thought so anyway, maybe they're in the next room. Yes, they are. These are the same room on the map, that's why I got confused. So, two pairs of coins, 20 each, bring our total to 640. Over here by the camera controls, first on the ledge, another pair of coins, bring our total to 660. These are the camera controls. I discovered this in my first playthrough. I'm gonna leave the cameras on because we're playing Supreme and they're easy enough to get around anyway. Leave these switches alone. If you hit one of these bad boys, it turns on the turret and it'll fire on you the second you're out in the hallway. Doesn't even need to establish an AI awareness link. It'll just smite you. It's no good. So, let's creep back out here now. Let's go down to the end of this hallway first. This is marked as a guard room. Indeed, it will be a guard room once we come back in masks, but it's empty right now, so just gonna get it on the map like so many things. Down at the end of this hall, in the windowsill, another pair of coins worth 20, bring our total to 680. And we move on. 
Please. Yes, good, good, good. Uh oh. Okay, he doesn't have anything. I guess we already have his purse. I'm gonna avoid the foyer for now because there's a conversation that I don't want to trigger because it makes sneaking through the ballroom much harder. If we don't trigger it, the ballroom is empty, which is a much better situation for us. So let's move in here. We get this whole area on our map, which is nice. This area is also empty for now. Welcome to Lord Gervasius' public exhibition of art and curios, both ancient and modern. I don't know where I'm hearing someone. But it doesn't really matter. We move now into the ballroom, and suddenly our first floor map is looking quite full. Let's read this little missive. Permit number 1609324. Lord Gervasius is hereby permitted to begin and maintain construction on these premises, the manor of Clan Gervasius. Construction is understood to be occurring in the ballroom and on the third floor. Nicholas P. Cantarelli, Registrar, Hall of Records and Licenses. Sweet. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do a real save, just because we've come a ways. Two things of note in the ballroom, and only two things at this phase. The first is you wanna get to this toolbox and open it. We're gonna need that cuckoo. Second, this is gonna bust supreme. Don't really have a choice, though. He's, he's gonna hear us pick the lock. But he's got a purse we want. Bam. Another hundred brings our total to 780, and that's the fourth of nine pickpockets. Awesome. Now we'll just leave the ballroom by the other door, the only one we haven't checked out yet on this floor. We're back in this same area. This is the foyer, which remember we're skipping because I want to keep the ballroom empty till I'm ready. Actually, Stand for them, be recognized. There is someone who patrols through here. How about that? I thought this place was always empty. There's something I want to do down here that I'm certain is possible, even though I haven't been able to do it yet. Casing is the time to try it out, I'd say. The second floor has some extra watchers and the effect of those watchers is to make it impossible to get into these offices without deactivating them. I am convinced that we should be able to rope our way into the offices because the reason I'm convinced of that is because it's pretty easy to convince Garrett to come out of the office once he's in. But... I have not been able to get him to go through the other way. Well, let me experiment a little, if you'll indulge me. Otherwise I may just have to suck it up, turn off the watchers and take a supreme bust. <coughs> I don't think the designers... Well, it's hard to say with Thief 2. I would actually say it's more likely that the designers did mean for us to be able to get through those uh, windows, but they messed up. But only they know for sure, and we can't really ask them. So we'll just head out here. We're in another hallway. 
First thing I'm gonna do, skip the foyer, head out to the east, to this little front room. Everything's unlocked, which is handy. We'll have to pick all these locks when we're back in masks, but that isn't very hard either. So, that column has our third secret. It opens that room, which right now is empty and completely useless to us. So, just shut it right back off and head back out. Close that door behind me. Head over here. One coin on that desk, or one pair of coins, worth another 20, bring our total to 800. Just getting this guard room on our map. Oh, I guess I should enter that secret room. Just for the sake of the mapping objective. I'll do that right quick. Oh. I guess we can't get that room on our map. The game doesn't recognize that we're there. Oh well. like he must be approaching so I'll just wait right here for him to go by no problem we're still at four out of nine pickpockets the fifth one is in the foyer leaves four others to keep track of so I'm gonna zip back up here just for the map's sake, I'm going to head around here, all the way to the back, go through this door. There's nothing in here right now, but we can get the barracks on our map, which is good. Close that. Now for our fourth secret, another supreme bust, but it beats busting ghost. Just hit the secret switch right in the center of the G through the banner to open up another long secret passage along the north edge of the first floor. That's our fourth of nine secrets. Awesome. I'm gonna make another real save. So, inside this bathroom, I know that up here on the ledge is one pair of coins, worth 20, brings our total to 820. I also know that over here by the sink is another pair of coins, worth 20, bring our total to 840. I'm gonna shut that for the moment because... We should be able to find a pickpocket around here somewhere, another purse, but I'm not seeing it, so skip it for now. Did I close the secret door? I did. Let's open that back up, head back to the secret passage, just keep sticking our head out into the main hall, trying to find pickpockets. Five left to find. I only know for sure where one is in the foyer. I think the other four I'll wander. So the next switch is here at the end. Oh, uh, we've got a stuck guard. Let me show him to you. This happened to me on my practice run too. There's a guy stuck on the kitchen table. Let's make sure he's not one of the. Uh, he does have a purse. What do you know? All right. Well, there's five out of nine pickpockets. On top of that, another hundred loot brings our total to 940. 
Now this is going to be a problem because there's some loot in no. here. I don't think it's true at all what they said. It probably never was true. And I just believed him like a taffhead. Well, we should be able to get on the table behind him from now, here. Behind my back. <gasps> Something there. Oh, Garrett's feeling like mantling for a change. That's good. <clears throat> In my practice run, he was facing the wall. So, this wasn't an option. I'll go ahead and grab those three bottles of wine, 50 each, bring our total to 1,090. I'm gonna dismount now. Try my best to do so silently. <coughs> and creep back in here. Now there are a couple of spice bags on the other side of the room that might be a problem, but I'll worry about that when I come to it. For now, just head here into the servants' quarters. Uh, only one of these has something good in it. Or maybe it's two. That crate has silver coins in it, bring our total to 1135. That one... They look like copper coins, but they brought my total to 1160. And that one's empty. Okay, so two bit valuable bits inside the, uh... Servant quarters. And we move on. So again, just get flush. No, oh, I'm inside a closet. Here we go. Get flush with the wall so the doors have full range to swing open and shut. And keep it going. All the way down to the end of this passage. The other switch for that, I think, is right on this archway. Maybe not. Over here, maybe? I know there is another switch for it, but where? could have sworn it was on the left side of this arch. Maybe that's on the second floor. It all kind of runs together for me. Anyway, I won't worry about it yet. I hear a patroller somewhere. Let's see if he's got a pick that noise. And forth over turn around! Slowly. He is. No, he does not have a purse. Good to know. So... I don't like the looks of that. Okay, yeah, getting those spice bags is gonna be a real problem with him stuck there. Let's start by creeping. I'm willing to take a first What's alert. That? Who's there? Get out here. Oh, but he's going second real Hello? fast. Who's there? I may Get have out. to slip in behind him and try to nudge him. If I want that loot, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. There's the other switch. Before I do that, Let's go ahead and loot a couple of other rooms. Well, I say a couple, there's really only one. And this isn't the best way to get to it anyway. The best way is out the kitchen door. So. Ay, ay, ay. Let's reclose that. I hate dealing with glitches. That's okay. I'll use glitches to deal with glitches. That's just how life is sometimes. Reopen those doors. Creep out behind the homes here. Mantle onto his... Yeah. 
I thought maybe that strange would, noises. I thought maybe that would turn that light off, but no. Looks like it's nothing. I don't What's care. that? I don't care if he first alerts, because nudging him is a supreme bust anyway. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm kind of curious as to what'll happen. Come on, buddy. <coughs> Actually, I wonder, before I resort to nudging, maybe I should just try putting out lights. Strange noises. I'll never use these water arrows otherwise. <sighs> I wonder if I, if I put out that torch and the backlight, it may be dark enough for me to sneak past him. No matter how much you practice, the game will throw you curveballs like this. Granted, it's not supposed to, but... That's a minor detail, isn't it? Alright, it was on the right side. If I put this one out, too... Oh, I, I still don't think it's gonna work. Come out now, whoever you are. Yep. Hmm, this isn't right. Maybe, though, with those out... I can come from the other direction. I feel like maybe I can get on the counter and creep up to the spice bags from the other way. Let's find out. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not playing games here. Oh, it's... he's picked maybe the worst possible direction to face. <sighs> and it doesn't seem like I can actually nudge him either because he's floating above the table. So, I'm not out mm. of options yet. Obviously can't have that. I've had enough of you. Okay. That's not gonna work either. It's never really anything. And see with him floating like we this. We got problems here! I can't Curse your eyes! With him floating like that, I can't nudge him. He's not even on the same plane. He's just He's there, and he's not gonna move. Oh, well. So... Huh? What? Let me try something else. Looks like it's nothing. Let's try speed! Let's moss the kitchen counter. And the fl tile floor we're on. Let's just go fast. Not again. Didn't work. Huh? What? <clears throat> Not making me happy. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Can't a guy nap around here?
come to Papa now. Hmm. Okay. Where was the last place I real saved? It was before the bathroom, right? Let's clear this out right quick. Servants' quarters again. I swear. gadgets around here and I can't get a simple mug of coffee all right all right all right you're mine <laughs> okay okay that showed me something important if he moves he will get sent back to ground level, eventually. Uh, see, he just twitched forward. That's good. That's what I want. I hate dealing with glitches, and it's such a big part of Ghosting Thief 2. Thief Gold, not so much. Thief Gold, you know, was finished. It's true at all what they said. They didn't do us that courtesy in Thief 2. And I just believed him like a taff head. <laughs> They're probably laughing at me now, behind my back. Uh, not true at all. Nope. Is he even moving? I'm not sure he's moving. <clears throat> Look like it, does it? <coughs> I will defeat this, don't you, don't you viewers worry. Find a way, I always do. Alright. Whoa. Okay. Huh? What? Something about that just made him look farther farther out than he was. Oh now he's <coughs> now he's fully levitated. Okay. New plan. Speed from that side. Uh huh. I'm going to jump in through the window. Strange noises. <coughs> Hopefully, get out of his view of view. We'll see how it goes, of course. Of course. Figure the less light the better. Okay, let's just see. 
Don't think I don't see you. I ain't blind, you know. Nope. You can there they are. That's the trouble right there. It's not normally like this. Hmm. Trying to think of other things I can do. I'm not playing. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <clears throat> he seems to be moving up higher and higher with every load. Oh, that's weird. Maybe. Here's something I haven't tried yet. Strange noises. I tried to go over the oven. What if I just creep along in front of it? Since it does still seem to cast a shadow. Hmm. Seeing things. Don't care about a first <coughs> alert. Don't think I don't see you. I ain't blind, you know. Okay. No, that's not an option either. What if I douse the torch? Do I do strange noises? Any better? I'm guessing no, but it's possible. No, uh, the lamp is still the problem. Odd, he hasn't first alerted. Um, what are you doing here? As soon mm. as we... Odd. As soon as we try to move out into the room, he's gonna spot us. Mm. Okay, what else can I do? What else can I do? <clears throat> Wonder. <clears throat> Come out now, whoever. Looks like that's a no as well. It's not normally like this. Um, you've made a big mistake, Taffer. This way! We've got- uh... Hold it! Curse your eye! Good grief. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna lose to a fucking <clears throat> glitch. This guy's supposed to be patrolling the hall outside. <clears throat> ah! Hey! Oh. This isn't right. We got problems here. 
Heads are gonna roll now. Yeah, even getting spotted, we lose. Let's moss the whole floor. Let's do put out the other torch, just so there's as little light as possible. Doesn't seem to help much, but I'll take whatever I can get. I hear you now! Let's moss the counter, then, as well. <sighs> hmm. What the hell? Getting on top of the counter without alerts, that's a big victory. <sighs> Got one. Mm. Got both. Okay. Now we just have to work our way back. Thank God, if I lost to this glitch, I was going to be so mad. I can't even tell y'all. How much that would have pissed me off. So anyway, that brings us up to, uh, those are worth 40 each, so that brings us up to 1240. Awesome, awesome. <coughs> oh no. Please just turn around. Over there. Well, I guess now we know how they get stuck. Did you see that? Uh, that was crazy. Hmm. Oh well, it must have been nothing. Can I get back out? That's the new million dollar question. Nobody pushes Benny around. I can't believe the other guard got stuck on the table, too. You wanna know what that is? It's ludicrous, that's what. Hear that? Uh, I think he's gonna see me if I try to get past mm. him. I don't see anything now. Hey, you over there! I knew it. <coughs> TURN AROUND! <laughs> it just did not want to yield up victory, did it? Well, damn! That's okay, I know... I know how to do this now. Hmm, <sighs> something there. <sighs> I think that's probably enough moss, actually. the looks of this. I know it's possible because I just did it. Don't think I don't see you. I ain't blind. So, screw you, hmm. game. This isn't right. Don't think I don't see you. I ain't blind. Hmm. This isn't right. Maybe I do need to have that torch out, too. It's not normally like this. And apparently I need to speed up my exit. <clears throat> The other guy's gonna come in and get stuck too, so. Time is of the essence, apparently. Got my spice bags, got my wine bottle, got my purse. Let's 
get out of here. All right. Now you assholes can get stuck to your heart's content. Damn. I hate dealing with glitches. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I have already been here. So back to the secret tunnel. Now we're actually not done in here because... I need to search the storage room. And the best way there is out this door. Hopefully his angle is such that I can get through here. Freeze! No such luck. Never such luck. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's do this instead. Let's head out the servant quarters. Now we've got a watcher to worry about. Mm. Thought I heard. And in yet another dark engine glitch, Garrett decided to you know, take a little jaunt out into the light when all I wanted to do was lean. Say la vie, say la vie. See that watcher doesn't really turn; it's just frozen on this door. I don't think I can get out here. No, I can't. Good grief. Fine, I tell you what we'll do. We will take the high road. So... Back to the bathroom. Let's head back to the ballroom. Put our vine arrow to good use. I say we just try and get on the rafters. <laughs> and then we can slide down to the railing. And we can get to the storage room that way. Unbelievable. Should not have been that hard. So, down here. First things first, let's hop over these crates. Under here. Both boxes have valuables in them. Gold plate, gold goblet, total 1490. There's another gold goblet on top of that crate, total 1515. That chest has another gold goblet, total 1540. Behind here, another gold goblet, total 1565. Let's go upstairs now. Yikes. Okay. Up here, over behind this box, are two gold candlesticks. Bring our total to 1665. Sweet. Hold on just a sec, folks. My wife is texting me. And let's head out. We head out into the hallway. As long as there are no guards around, getting past the watchers isn't so terrible. So we can just hug the wall right next to them. 
Oh, I guess we can't. We are, normally are able to do that, but doesn't matter much to me. Let's head back here. There's our fifth of nine secrets. It's a passage just like the one on the first floor. And as I thought, this is the one where that switch is on the left side of this arch. Have I done a real save since I got around that Incredibly irritating glitch. Not I should. Okay, we do still need to get past that watcher, so... Let's go to the right first. With it turned away. And inside that windowsill, find one pair of coins, bring our total to 1685. Now we need to get into this door on the left, so I'll wait till it's turned away. I expected the door to be locked. I don't know why. Sorry about that. That was stupid. Sorry about that. I swear, folks, I am losing my mind. Alright. Alright, let's open the door. Give it another cycle, and then run into the door. That ought to work, don't you think? I do. Well, it first alerted. I'd like to avoid even that if I could. Maybe if I let it... Alright, well, we're running low on time now, because here comes a patroller, so... Let's let it do a full cycle. Perfect. This room is pretty straightforward. Just one pair of coins on the desk and two pairs on the end table. 20 each bring our total up to 1745. What was that noise? Let me see if he's... Well, he's coming in here. Good. We'll just pickpocket him then. Because he's got a purse. Watch, he won't come in this time. Oh! Is someone there? Yep, of course not. Okay. Now we need to get by the...